This week's breed in focus is the Cocker Spaniel, originally bred as hunting dogs in the United Kingdom. They were primarily used to hunt and flush the woodcock, that's a bird, out of its woodland habitat, hence the name Cocker. As you can see with Dougal and Adam here, their long floppy ears and soft coat that feathers on their legs and bellies gives the Cocker Spaniel a very regal mm. appearance indeed. Their tails were traditionally docked like Adam's to prevent injury as they ran through the heavy bush, which is a practice that is thankfully now illegal in many countries, including Australia. Yes, English cockers are intelligent and curious. They are a hunting dog, so you must train them and work on their obedience. They are soft and sensitive souls though, so training must be positive and rewards based. A solid recall is a must as they love nothing more than sniffing and investigating their environment. So they can go a little deaf to your calls once they're off on a scent or if they decide to chase birds. English cockers love their family though and are very gentle and affectionate. They make good companions for people of all ages, including children, as they are an adaptable and robust breed and generally get along with all other pets. Because they're so people orientated though, they can also be prone to separation anxiety. So they don't do well being left alone and can become a bit destructive as a result. That's right, and because they are a working dog breed, they have a lot of stamina and energy. So they need a lot of exercise, don't you Dougal? At least an hour a day and they need to be kept mentally active. They love to learn, so they do really well in dog sports, including tracking, obedience trials, fly ball and agility, plus they love the water, don't you? <laughs> the average lifespan of the Cocker Spaniel is 12 to 14 years and they're considered a fairly healthy breed. Unfortunately though, their big soulful eyes can be prone to some issues including cataracts and dry eye. So any signs of cloudiness, redness, squinting or discharge should prompt a vet visit. Now I have to ask though, what about these ears? They look like they could be breeding ground for bacteria. Yes, bacteria does like these ears. So if you notice any smelly or excessive discharge, then take them straight to the vet. Untreated ear infections can lead to deafness and other complications. Okay, so always important, as we know, anything doesn't look normal, take them to your vet. And also, they're known for having cocker mouth, which is officially called lip fold dermatitis. It can cause their mouth to become quite smelly. So it's a good idea to keep the fur around their mouths trimmed to help keep it clean and never think that a smelly face on a cocker is normal. Okay. Your vet may prescribe a medicated wipe to help keep nasties at bay and in severe cases surgery might be required to just get rid of those lip folds. That's why it's always important and don't worry you don't smell so you're okay <laughs> to make sure that you have pet insurance so that you are covered in times of surgery. Definitely for those unexpected things. That's right. You're covered aren't you buddy? To learn how HIF pet insurance can help your pet in times of need, visit hif.com.au.